Hi everyone, welcome back to our Arduino tutorial series. Today we're going to learn how to measure temperature using a 103 thermistor. By the end of this video, you know how to integrate this component into your projects for environmental monitoring and more. Let's dive right in. A thermistor is a type of resistor whose resistance varies significantly with temperature. The term thermistor is a combination of the words thermal and resistor. The 103 in a 103 thermistor indicates that at 25 degrees Celsius, the thermistor has a resistance of 10,000 ohms. There are two types of thermistors. NTC, which stands for negative temperature coefficient, which decreases resistance as temperature increases, and PTC, or positive temperature coefficient, which increases in resistance as the temperature increases. In this example, we'll be using an NTC thermistor. Let's wire our thermistor to the Arduino Uno. You'll need a 103 NTC thermistor, a 10 kilo ohm resistor, jumper wires, and a breadboard. Start by connecting the series resistor. Connect one end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor to the 5 volt supply on the Arduino and the other end of the resistor to one of the legs of the thermistor. This junction is where the voltage will be measured by the Arduino. Then connect the other leg of the thermistor to the GND pin on the Arduino. And finally, connect a wire from the junction between the resistor and the thermistor to an analog input on the Arduino, such as analog pin 0, which is the one that we will be using. This is where the voltage across the thermistor will be read by the Arduino. This setup forms a voltage divider, which is necessary because the Arduino cannot read resistance directly, but it can read voltage. The voltage across the thermistor will vary with temperature changes, which then we can convert back to a temperature reading. Now let's look at the Arduino code required to read the temperature from the thermistor. First, we define the constants and variables in this line. Then we create the setup function. After that, we have a function that calculates temperature that receives a integer input. That is the pin where the thermistor is connected. Inside the read temperature function, you can see that we have the analog read function that takes a voltage reading from the pin to which the thermistor is connected. In our case, it's analog pin zero. And then in the second line, we've got a calculation which converts this reading, the voltage reading into a resistance. And then we've got a much longer function that converts that resistance that we just calculated in the previous line into a temperature in degrees Kelvin. Next to the return statement, we convert the Kelvin temperature into Celsius temperature by subtracting 273.15 from the Kelvin temperature. Finally, in the loop function, you can see that at the beginning, we call the read thermistor function. And after that, we've got a few print statements. We print out the temperature, the symbol for the temperature, which is Celsius, and insert there a delay of 2000 milliseconds, which is two seconds just for the program to wait before taking the next measurement. After uploading this code to your Arduino, open the serial monitor. You should see the temperature readings updating every two seconds. Try warming the thermistor with your hand or a hairdryer and watch how the readings change. You've just learned how to measure temperature using a thermistor with the Arduino. This setup can be incredibly useful for projects that require environmental monitoring and specifically, of course, to measure temperatures. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting Arduino projects. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest uploads. Have any questions or suggestions? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.